Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna determine the, where the radian measure of 6.02, which quadrant that terminal side is gonna be. So we know it's positive, so we're gonna go in the counterclockwise direction, and remember we always gotta start at our initial side. So as we go along, right, we said, remember this was pi over two, and this ended up being pi. Now remember pi, I'm just gonna approximate pi for right now. Remember pi, we can represent as 3.14159, dot, 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 right? But let's just approximate it for 3.14. Then we said here was 3 pi over 2, because I don't really need to solve all of these to solve these problems. Um, I, at the end is going to be 2 pi. Well, if I'm going to give a decimal, decimal approximation of that, I could do 6.28, right? Because we notice our radian is not in terms of pi. So if I want to look at the distance of this angle in terms of radi in radians at 6.02, you can obviously see it's just going to be shy of this axis. So it's going to be somewhere right around there, telling us it, that it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. Now, if you wanted to, you know, I, I'm not going to take the time to do this, but you could multiply 3 times pi divided by 2 and get an approximation for there. However, you will notice that 6.02 is going to fall between that value and that value, with it being closer to our x-axis telling us that it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. So I hope that makes sense. Just make sure you have, you know what your quadrants are. And then when you don't have an angle in terms of radian or in terms of pi, then take it out in terms of pi and you're all set. Thanks.